Warning, the following is a rant by the rambling sports fanatic and should not be taken seriously for it is just for fun. Welcome to the Sports World 1869 World So Large, your partner whether you know it or not. Today you see the hat is on and we have to have another rant because apparently there's a big problem in baseball today and it concerns voting. No, not of course government voting, the democracy of which we currently live in. I mean the baseball voting for the All-Star Game. Let's get started. So unless you've been living under a rock this whole time, I'm sure you're aware who's leading in the polls and who's not. In case you don't know, here's a basic quick update. Half the Royal team is leading in every single voting category for each position. For example, Kendris Morales is leading over in the DH. You have Gordon left field. Lorenzo Cain in right, and you have Omar in second, and Mike Moustakis at third, etc., etc. And, of course, in the National League, it's all Cardinals. And the problem with the voting, to be perfectly honest, is it's, it's stupid because the right players are not going to get in, and that's really unfortunate because when you think about it, what is the All-Star game? What is it? It is a game in which the best players in the game at that point in time are represented in the game itself. But tell me, if you get the worst players in the game to be in the All-Star game, is it really an All-Star game? That's a good question. I think the answer would be no, it's not. Because an All-Star game has the best players. And for some reason in this voting, we don't have the best players. Why is Mike Moustakas leading over Josh Donaldson by 2 million votes? I don't have to go over the statistics that Josh Donaldson has in comparison to Mike Moustakas in this year. You could do that on your own. But you would find, though, that in third base in the AL, Donaldson leads in every category. Home run, RBIs, run, hits, on base. The only thing Moustakas leads in is being useful to his team, I guess. But you compare the statistics, they don't even add up. Yet somehow, this keeps happening. Omar Infante has a batting average of 200, and somehow he's behind Altuve. Jason Kipnis, a way better hitter than both those jabronis, and he is not even close to the voting. And it gets worse. Jose Bautista, a great fielder, great hitter, having a pretty good season, is losing out to Alex Gordon who, besides fielding, hasn't done much else for his team. And yet, somehow, Batista is not in the voting. Or I should say, he's not in the running in the voting, and they're most likely going to count him out. How is Mike Trout, last year's MVP, most valuable player, and is playing well this year, losing in the votes, or I should say losing, but trailing to Lorenzo Cain? Who is Lorenzo Cain? He's a great fielder. He's got a good batting average, I guess. Home run RBIs and runs to Trout's level. Not even close. Yet somehow, somehow, he's, he's leading Trout in the votes. And Am Jones, a great player, is having issues getting on the ballot. What is with these Royal fans and scamming with email accounts trying to get older players in? Do you want to win? Do you want the home field advantage? You won't get that with crappy players like Omar Infante. Yes, Altuve's up there, but some people think he's not really the best either. He's just living off his hype from last year and, of course, his success going into this year. But there are better players out there. And what bothers me to no end is how people stupidly are voting for these players. I fill out a ballot. I did 25 to 30, whatever the max is. I'm not even sure to try to get my players in there. And they probably won't. The only player on the Royals who I think definitely deserves to be an All-Star is probably Salvador Perez because he's a great hitter and a great fielder. Everybody else you could technically debate. In my opinion, the outfield for this year should be Jones, Trout, and Batista. That's who I think should be in the outfield. And the DH should be Nelson Cruz. He's trailing to Kendris, uh, Kendris Morales. How does that happen? You hit 18 home runs in the first three months of baseball and you're trailing in the polls? What's wrong with these people? I have no idea and frankly it bothers me to no end. And when you go to the National League it doesn't get much better. You got tons of Cardinals everywhere. For the most part, for the most part it's pretty justified. 
There are some instances, though, where it's not. For example, Todd Frazier. He is better than Carpenter and Chris Bryant in every category of hitting in a third base. Don't believe me? Just look it up on LB.com under sortable stats by any of the players. And you will see, you will see that Todd Father is definitely better than all those players. Now, you're probably thinking where I'm wearing the Reds hat, so of course I'm biased. Well, you know what? I am. But statistically speaking, he is better than the other two third basements. He should be starting in the starting lineup for his hometown of Cincinnati, Ohio, for the Reds. Because, as you know, the All-Star game is in the Great American Ballpark. And I one time joked saying, well, not really joke, but I was getting angry at the point with the team I was thinking they were not going to have any All-Stars. Well, you know what? Frazier's having a good year. Give him his due and get him in the All-Star game. I got this bad feeling in my gut, bad feeling, it's not going to happen because people who are voting are absolutely stupid. They don't want to win. They just want to see their players in the game and screw up. Or not. Who knows? I mean, there are some justified votings that are happening. I think Stan is up there in the voting. I, I know Bryce Harper is, of course, on the voting. But the worst power Carpenter, he, he is so up there in the polls that his thing is, is, is uh, darkened to show that he pretty much will not be disputed against. No one's going to really beat him out for it. And that kind of pisses me off to no end. And I've said at least three times now in this video, but I don't care. And it really bothers me because the good players in these All-Star games are rarely represented. I know last year, for example, Aramis Ramirez got in there, but Rendon and some other key third basemen didn't. How about Nolan Arenado? Where's his dude? Probably the best fielder in baseball, maybe one of the best hitters, isn't even going to be in the All-Star game. Or will he? Who knows? These fans are stupid and don't know what they're doing. Frankly, I know that the fans get a chance to vote in these games, and I understand that's their right. However, I do feel like if a certain player is leading in a category, he should have a slightly upper hand, an advantage to do it, because it's also... It just makes me mad when players who are playing well do not get the votes they deserve because the fans are too biased and just want their players in there regardless of how good they actually are. Now, the difference between the Cardinals and the Royals in their voting and the players are voting for it, the Cardinal players actually kind of deserve it. I mean, Holiday, if he's still healthy, is pretty good. He broke a record 43 on base or something, uh, consecutive games getting on base. And, of course, Peralta is leading in the National League for shortstops in basically every hitting category. So that makes sense. Yadier Molina, though, has been a huge controversy because some people think he's not playing as well as he could. I will say the offensive numbers have definitely gone down for the little man, but he's still a great catcher. And that's the point about Yai that some people seem to forget. He's a fantastic catcher. To call La Russa, he could hit below 100. I'd still keep him every day catching because that's how good he is. Is he better than Buster Posey? I'm not sure about this year. I know a few years back he was. Unfortunately, Lou Croy isn't having a good year. Because I'd like to see that guy get an all-star uh, ballot. But it's uh, it's probably not going to happen. And thankfully, there are good things happening. I'm, I'm complaining a lot, but there are some good things to know. For example, Paul Goldschmidt is leading in the voting. I'm happy about that because I like Adrian Gonzalez a lot. But let's be honest here. Paul Goldschmidt is a better player now and probably will be for a few years to come. Agon is, is getting worse as the years go on. Paul Goldschmidt, I can see him just getting better and better because he's, just, he's such a great player. And unfortunately, there's, there's guys out there like Joey Votto. I think he's having a pretty good year, but he won't make it. Uh, Phil's has been balancing back, but he won't make it. And same in the American League as well. I, I think Miguel Cabrera probably owns the vote. I was looking at it recently. I don't think anyone's going to beat him to it. I'd like to see uh, Prince Fielder get there, but it's probably not going to happen. Even though he's been so good. So good! But he probably will not get on the All-Star game. Or at least not as a starter. He might get on the reserves. We'll see what happens. At least for the pitching. At least for the pitching, the manager decided that because at least in one aspect of our game, we are actually evaluating good talent overall, just public opinion. Which, public opinion, by the way, sucks because anytime you see Mike Moustakis leading Josh Donaldson, who, by the way, Josh Donaldson might be an MVP candidate. I'm not jinxing anybody, but I'm just saying it could happen. It could happen. And he will not be a star in the All-Star game. That, to me, is disgusting. Disgusting. But but that's how it is in baseball nowadays. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what you think or how you feel. It matters what the fans want. And they like the Royals for some reason. Everyone is so high on them right now. 
even though they're okay. They're not an amazing team, but they seem to get the job done and winning and things of that nature. Although their best pitcher is a 36-year-old, 6'10 guy. But whatever. They're getting it done. My opinion, though, I wish people would stop voting for players they like and vote for players that might actually help the team win. Because the All-Star Game means something now. It didn't always mean something, but it does right now. And home field advantage is huge. Absolutely huge. It makes a huge difference who has it and who doesn't. And if you want any proof, just look at any All-Star Game. Look at any statistics about home field advantage and, and playoff winnings. Not just in baseball, but in all of all of sports. It's a very important and serious thing. And I'm not sure I'm not sure the fans take that too seriously. But I could be wrong. Maybe things will change in the next few months. But I have this bad feeling it's not going to. It's sickening. You do everything you can and you still don't get appreciated for it. I know these players got millions of dollars. I shouldn't feel about this garbage. But whatever. I do. I want to see my favorite players who are actually good get into the All-Star game. And get into it this year in Cincinnati in the Great American Ballpark. That is what I want to see. And I better see it. I don't want to see Omar Infante starting at second base. What a travesty. And him and Moustakis. I hate the Royals fans for doing this. I wish they would stop. This is the Rambling Sports Fanatic, and I'm out.